Hey guys, it's Steven, and today we're going to be taking a look at this really economical solution for a starter digital camera. Uh, this is the actual device itself, and everything that's included with the set, you get your carry case, your manual, a lens, a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, a strap, two batteries, the battery charging dock, a wall uh, cube for your USB, as well as the cord that connects these two together or connects your camera to the computer. The reason that's important is because being a micro SD, you probably don't have that slot in your computer. Some do. Uh, otherwise, you're going to need to get the little converter one where you slide it into it and then that's the piece that goes into your computer. Otherwise, you're going to be util utilizing uh, the USB cord. Um, this is expandable up to, I want to say 256 gigabytes. Yep. Right there. Uh, but it has to be a class 10 card. If you mess that up or try to exceed it, you risk data loss. So don't do that. Uh, and make sure that you format the card before you use it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please reference page seven and eight in, uh, seven through nine, actually in the manual. Super helpful. Uh, this does shoot in both picture and video mode. Uh, with 4K, you get a maximum, here we go, the 4K resolution up to 30 frames per second, and you can go as low uh, as 30 frames per second with 720p. So, um, pretty versatile, and it works for a bunch of different modes. So if you're looking for portrait photography, landscape photography, or even action shots, um, pretty versatile, but you're not going for pro quality with this camera. So I don't want to talk about things from a high production standpoint. Keeping the price point in mind, uh, I think this is a really inclusive set. This is more than adequate if you're giving it to a kid. Um, I just want to break down a couple things so you do know what you're getting though. Um, what makes it nice is it does have the Wi-Fi functionality on it and you can pop that lens off. It's super lightweight. Um, but keep in mind, this is a digital zoom. So with digital zoom, what makes it different from an optical lens is that uh, you're basically taking an image and trying to stretch it over and over and over again. And so sometimes the, when you zoom in, I shouldn't say sometimes, the more you zoom in, you're going to lose picture quality. So if you're up close to something, I think it's great. Uh, if you're doing video and you're keeping it at a steady shot, it's great. But if you're recording your kid's graduation or a wedding and you're in the back row, you might want to invest in something a little higher end. Um, that being said, let's actually talk about the lens. So I'm going to pop the little cover off here and here. It has the threads on it, which hopefully you can see. I'll try to zoom into that here. There we go, uh, which is nice because you can play with different filters. Uh, if you wanted to connect on another lens to it, I guess you could. Um, I, at that point, I would probably just get a uh, higher quality camera, but this is great. If I can close it, <laughs> there we go. And then that just connects to the camera here. Uh, it does add a bit of weight. But it feels like a pretty durable camera. I, this is like, uh, I don't know, I would just say heavy duty plastic. Uh, the micro SD is a bit of a pain. I just want to show you here. So uh, if you try to push that in, it's going to pop out. Um, there we go. And I'll show you on the side here. I can push it really hard and pops out. Um, you can see I got a little indentation there. So you're going to need something like a key or a pen to just shove that in. Once it's in there, it will stay in place until you push it again. There is an attachment for a tripod, so that's nice. This is where the battery goes. Personally, it's where I probably would have put that card uh, just because you don't want your data getting exposed, right? To the elements or even putting it where the USB port is on the side. Here we go. And above that, which is the mic function uh, or the mic port, uh, which is, uses a standard headphone jack. What is that? 0.33 or 3.5 millimeter. Um, this is where you would mount the microphone and uh, if you or if you want to use like uh, LED light to brighten things up. It does have a flash that functions uh, both for picture and video modes. I'll show you here. So if we long hold that flash, you're going to get the light and it's pretty decent. Um, probably don't need uh, a, one of the little mount ones, but I like it because then you can really customize the brightness and all that jazz. Uh, the video mode is nice, but I'm going to say that it shoots a little bit on the nasally side. I was not able to find where the actual microphone is on this. Um, so 
I don't know if that's part of the problem, uh, but when it plays back through the speaker, it's very, very nasally, almost metallic, or it sounds like it was shot underwater. So I'm going to recommend like a condenser mic or an omnidirectional mic, depending what you're looking to do with it. Um, maybe even invest in a lapel mic if you're trying to do like interviews and things like that. I'm going to be using this primarily for video blogging. And so what's nice about it is that this screen pops around and hi, sorry, my hair is a bit of a mess right now, um, but you can see yourself here. The downfall about this uh, screen is that it doesn't twist this way, it doesn't rotate. So that screen is going to be exposed at all times and uh, inside the case, there's really not anything else to protect that. Um, although it is a decent quality, sort of like a, hard case. Um, the screen is going to be on pretty much at all times. There's not a way to view it through a little peephole here. So again, that's something that uh, reduces the lifespan of the battery. But again, it does come with two batteries. So you just got to decide for yourself what is going to work best. I'll show you how the zoom works here. It's pretty steady. It's not too jumpy. And the further we get into Mr. Teddy over there, uh, you can actually see where the Ellen logo is. Let me see if I can get really close here. You can actually see how it pixelates. Um, whereas if you're up close, and I show you here, you see how clear that is. So um, just a notice, noticeable difference in the photo integrity. So I'm going to give this uh, three out of five stars uh, as a camera on its own for the Price value, I'm going to say four stars. It's hard for me to say that because I would not use this for, um, if I were looking to you know, capture anything significant. But again, with everything that it includes, I just think it's a really good bang for your buck. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's about it, so.